we are at the Golden Mount area and I'm about to interview Nam Chai. He's uh, exploring to find place to sketch. So how do you decide which place is good to sketch? Um, do you, look, have, you look at the light? Look at the light first and then the, the emotion that you got. Oh. I always find some little, little things that touches Your my heart. feeling, my heart. Yes. Be important. it the light, shadow or people working there. Very good. Okay. Or some colors or anything. Anything. Yes. A good Very design. Good. A good design is the first priority. That's true. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with you. Okay. Here, when I. Golden Buddha over there. Oh, yeah. Golden Buddha, okay. Yeah. Very I would good. like to paint something gold. Something gold today? Yeah. You feel like golden, right? Feel, bling bling. Like gold. Absolutely, yeah. let's go. Lots of sketches here already. Yeah. I see George right there. George. George. You are getting tired. I think he found his subject. Yeah. Something very simple. Hello. Small? Yeah. Just um, the 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 um, panorama format doesn't fit so well. Yeah, because it's a portrait, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a look. So while you're sketching, set up. You can talk while you're sketching, right? Yeah. My sketch, my setup. Yeah. So maybe say a little bit about your setup. Okay. I have this a uh, very small, useful, strong <laughs> stool from uh, Japan. It's a camping stool, so it's it's quite quite uh, good and strong. Cheap. Good and strong. Yeah. Not very light, but strong. My palette, my brushes. Yep. I have three partition of um, water bucket. One is for, two is for clean and dirty water. And then I put this. Um, oh, your rubbish or whatever. Inside. My rubbish, so that I can wipe out my or uh, take out my excess water from the brush. Right. At the same time, it doesn't spill all over the place or on the floor. So it's good for the place that you are going. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Well, what you paint? The uh, golden Buddha uh, golden Buddha with the light, uh, very nice lighting. Yeah, golden Buddha. The back lighting and to make the background light and then the the high contrast will be on the Buddha itself because it the be a darkest dark and a lightest light in there and play with the gold and still. Yeah, and some red reflection from the ceiling onto the shoulder and, and lap of the uh, the Buddha. So playing with the contrast? Yes, of course. Excellent. And go, and go. I was fascinated by by master's uh, ability to portray go and, and shiny surfaces and materials, which of course all of us are struggling. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard. It's going. To, I'm going to fail today, but I will enjoy it. It's okay. You you won't fail, but if it is, is in glory. Oh yes, of course. <laughs>
All right, we won't disturb you. I'll let you go.
so you finish how do you feel good <laughs> the feeling is not very good but the feeling is very good that's what matters right yeah that's what matters yeah. so so i have a question for you so what worked for you and what didn't work for you for in to this one yeah. i think too many colors on the buddha image maybe like fewer colors just play with the tones and that'll be that'll be but better it's great to me actually thank you mm. it's a, it's a bit dirty i i i um it's very difficult so i have to add in a lot of uh, thick dark colors on 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 the yeah, so on to, get, to get a contrast right. to get a contrast yes right. but um if you could just think about the process right if you can walk us through how how, how did you start and you know what, what was the process i think about because the the property of the watercolor which is the most important thing is the dark uh, layers can lay on top of the lighter layer so i look at the brightest uh, the lightest light and light i save colors. that and i work from light to dark right, right, right. yeah so uh, i work from light to dark i work from uh, wet to dry from big to small yeah. from back to front and 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 similar to 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 that process so i save the lightest uh, which is the highlights on the buddha yeah. and then i add on the background which is the second lightest uh, all these the light and uh, the columns, the highlights of the lamps. The next thing is the shadow because uh, I work from, from wet to dry. So I want, I want the, the wet or red effect of the shadow that, that cast by the Buddha image itself. So I, I work this one first while it's still wet. I work on this one. So you got this like the, the, the uh, sense of yeah, spread out and, and the shadow from the head or from the arms of a Buddha image. And then I add on and on and on and on and work with the background, the bigger shapes, the lighter shape and then darker and smaller and drier. And then finally with, uh, with this uh, dark highlights, the eyes, the eyebrows. The, the, the dark effect. effect. The dry effect. The dry effects. And sometimes I use scratch uh, palette knife to, to bring out. Take out. Yes, yes, but not so much. This pressure effect must be very minimum. So, if you were to do it again, what would you change? Um, as I told you, the the I will this I did like patch by um patch by patch of the 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 Buddha. I will cover the whole thing except the highlight. I I the 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 new thing that I will do. First, I will cover with the mid tone, except the. Mid -tone. the <coughs> yeah. <coughs> um, sorry. <laughs> okay. I will cover the mid tone, like overall, leave the highlights and cover the, the whole uh, statue with the mid tone and then add some darker so that it, it blends better. Right. It's uh, the, the brush stroke and the, the color transition is better. Yep. Well, excellent. Actually, I, I have a question. You use a lot of the granulation colors, I see. Yes. Uh, is that on purpose or how do you think about your granulation as you, as you paint? I think it helps with the uh, um, texture and some, add some, some interest in the blank or, or the bigger shapes. Uh, two things that help uh, add uh, interest to your uh, blank uh, background, the, the, the quiet background is one thing is the gradual of the gradation of uh, tones and colors, you will yeah. see that. And the second thing is the granulation. So it helps when it looks like nothing, but with the grain, with the, uh, the grading uh, tone, it helps a lot with, with the mood of the viewer. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to say about the uh, painting? Um, it uh, speaks to you emotionally or? Um, Yes, it's it's you know it it it. There, I think there are two things that. Uh, first thing is it's uh, more or less uh, affects you and impact you with the emotions. You know, you look at the Buddha and you feel calm with the background music. And everything like come together. It's a whole, and whole, whole, whole thing. It's a whole yes. experience. Uh. But the second thing is. It's a uh, trying and experiment. So I look at a lot of work by sergeants and all the masters, and they like can can get that gold, the necklace, the brace, and then I want to try. So I I did try. 
Yes. No, I think it's a good effort. Uh, I, I think uh, like all things in life, it's always a journey. Yes, of course. Yes. So, so thank you very much for doing this. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I really enjoy watching you paint. It's a learning process for me. So uh, thank you very much. You are welcome. Next time I will watch you paint. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.